What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are taking a look at a very cool attack strategy um, that I haven't really focused on on the channel very much. Uh, this is the Dragon Super Minion attack with the Bat Spell. I mean, it is something that is a, uh, a true concoction in terms of combining all these cool different uh, aspects of an attack and uh, we're going to be taking a look at some Town Hall 13 attacks as well as some Town Hall uh, 12 attacks, or at least one Town Hall 12 attack. I really like how the King came in there, got that single Inferno Tower taken down, also going to do some damage on the Royal Champion. Very nice use of the King, guys, and sometimes if there's that opening in the corner, if you can create the funnel, use a free spell on that single Inferno, you can get it down with just your King and a few funneling troops. Those sneaky goblins especially are great uh, things to pair with, uh, you know, your troops for a funnel. But anyway, here comes the main uh, force of troops. They have the dragons kind of doing their part by tanking. The super minions are a little bit more versatile. They're not going to be as affected by air sweepers. Um, they can retarget quickly, and they can do that consistent amount of damage. A little more um, versatile in terms of not being affected by you know certain conditions inside the base. Uh, meanwhile, the blimp kind of goes past everything gets in there, gets that town hall down, and then here we go. We have the bat spells being dropped on that scatter shot. And the guys, the uh, scatter shot doesn't need to be frozen usually, but in this case, a few of the bats started to go to the defense next to the scatter shot, so it started targeting them. So the attacker here went ahead and uses uh, used the freeze on the scatter shot just to make sure it didn't do too much damage there. But anyway, plenty of free spells left. The bats coming around doing their thing. And um, oftentimes at Town Hall 13, you have single Inferno Towers, so you don't have to worry about the multis for the bats. Of course, you still have five Wizard Towers, but oftentimes your dragons can get most of them taken out um, if you attack at the right angle. Of course, the Town Hall is an issue. Oh, we have a comment there. Nice. Of course, the Town Hall is an issue, but um, it's not that much of an issue if you use the battle blimp to get it taken down um, the blimp can basically go wherever is needed um, so oftentimes you'll get some value from your warden's ability with the blimp going through it anyway let's break down another attack even further here going down just to number three a lot of our town hall 13s used this strategy and um, it definitely paid dividends uh, we were able to get all the town hall 13s tripled from this war so that was impressive, I think. And then this was interesting. I like the boulder bounce onto the uh, air defense there. Would have liked to have seen an earthquake spell to finish it off here because it is going to be left up. But I guess the idea is the bat spells, um, it, it didn't matter. The bat spells were, were coming from that side anyway, so the air defense wasn't that big of a deal. But used it over on this side, gets it down with a hog and a uh, bowler, which is a nice trade for an air defense, especially on a dragon attack good to get that taken down of course and then the funnel just being developed here uh, the dragon attacks are typically quick so you can take a little more time in the funnel which is what's going on here queen on one side the funnel is pretty much set by that baby dragon on the other here we go dragons and then right away the super minions from behind along with the warden that's how you want to do it here and you can see the uh, super minions just kind of staying back doing their damage um, and the warden's ability is going to get good value once again in just a moment but first drops down that battle blimp just to ensure that it also gets the value from that warden's ability now i like to time the ability so right as the eagle shots are about to hit I typically will press the Warden's ability, uh, but you can do it differently. It's not a huge deal if you don't. There's the Bat Spells on the Scatter Shot. There's the Royal Champion with an Ice Golem tanking that Wizard Tower. Um, so it is going to be frozen, and the Bat's just moving through. Another Ice Golem once again for another Wizard Tower. you got to be sure as a defender um, that your Wizard Towers can't be tanked by Ice Golems like that. So that was a bit of a mistake there. That being said, the freeze I think was a little bit late. A few of the bats do die, but those dragons are staying up and the uh, Royal Champion of course is still alive with her ability, plus the King coming in on the back end. Queen still alive, just everything stayed up this attack. Um, perfect stuff here. Couldn't have gotten any better. And I think, um, you know, I've talked a, a few reasons about why the super minions are a good addition instead of using only dragons. I think part of it is they tend to hang back a little bit. Um, the dragons are going to get targeted more by those back end defenses because they have to get up, you know, right on top of whatever building they're targeting. 
but the range of the super minions makes them kind of a good troop to have hanging out at the end because the bats can do their job, the super minions will hang back a little more, won't necessarily be targeted by some of those back end defenses and get taken out as quickly. All right, um, couple more here. This is our last 13 of the day. Very similar stuff once again, and it's very nice being able to bring two different super troops because it allows you to bring those sneaky goblins once again uh, to help create funnels and whatnot. Anyway, though, here comes the uh, sneaky goblins from the battle blimp, actually, along with a yeti, just to get in there, take out the town hall, do some damage, take out some other defenses as well. Gets that down. King is dropped. Going to kind of create the funnel on the other side here. Um, let things develop. Here goes the queen as well. Um, you can see has the earthquake and the lightning spell queued up. That's actually uh, for the uh, back end to help the royal champion get this uh, single inferno down. You'll see that play out in a sec. Uh, pretty late on the king's ability. Got to use that earlier, especially when the single inferno locks on like that. Um, you know, you want to be using it almost before the Inferno locks on with the hope that it will lock on to one of the little barbarians instead. Um, unfortunately, the Queen does ignore the uh, 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 single Inferno there, which is a result of the tricky walls, which are pretty tricky. you got to be careful with those guys. Um, but anyway, everything moving through still. The uh, Super Minions stay nice and spread out, which is part of the value there. Um, just targeting these buildings from a bit of a distance. And then the Royal Champion making her way through. Back end bat spell. And it was perfect that the Town Hall went down because it was a nice little ring for the bats to take out. There's just nothing to take them down, basically. Um, except for this single, or sorry, this multi Inferno. I can't seem to uh, talk about the Infernos correctly today. But um, there was the tornado as well as the inferno there that provided a bit of a problem for the bats, but still able to get the job done. Warden's still alive, a few other troops up, and um, enough to get the base cleaned up for sure. And that will do it for the, this attack here. We'll take a look at one Town Hall 12 attack. This strategy, I, I think, is a little more popular at uh, Town Hall 13. But there's a nice little variation happening down here at Town Hall 12. Not using the bat spells because, well, first and foremost, you see a lot more multi-infernos at Town Hall 12, which makes it more difficult to use those bats. But um, this base was definitely calling for some lightning spells because uh, lightnings on uh, air defenses as well as inferno towers to get damage on both of them here. So you can see that playing out, um, getting all these air defenses taken down. Once again, using a few sneaky goblins at the beginning to create that funnel and then just uh, finishing off those inferno towers. I'm never sure why people w like drop them, you know, very slowly and like methodically. It seems like you do the math at the beginning of the attack, bring as many spells as you need, then just drop them all down. But for some reason, people don't always do that and I'm not entirely sure why. Anyway, though, uh, just nice little king, queen, sui heroes. Uh, the king, ideally, I think would have gone into the base here, but he does not. And because of that, uh, the queen's actually not going to get the town hall taken down. Not the best funnel here for the heroes. Um, but it's going to be okay, and you'll see why in just a few moments here as things get started. The king actually, in a sense, did a pretty good job um, creating the funnel for the dragons in kind of the reverse direction by clearing out everything from the town hall down at 6 o'clock all the way up to 3 o'clock where the dragons are kind of being started. Nice little E-Dragon funnel on the other side. Would have been nice to get a few more hits, get those Teslas down, but the Expo, I think, took it down too quickly. So the E-Dragon funnel, not always the best bang for your buck, but it did a decent job there. And then here is a great use of the Stone Slammer. Not sure if this was improvised or not, but um, if it was, definitely a great job there because the Slammer is very good against the Town Hall um, and the uh, explosion doesn't really phase it very much. Also a nice freeze on the Air Defense Expo Warden. Uh, getting all those in one, which helped things out quite a bit. Super minions, dragons moving through though. Um, the queen is still alive, but she'll go down in just a moment. And then the blimp will, uh, or not the blimp, the slammer will uh, explode, dropping those balloons. And I think they're going to hit the tornado trap right there. Yep. So quite a few traps in the core. Going to slow them down, but not really be too much of an issue because there's just a couple archer towers, a Tesla up at the top of the base. Not enough to really be a huge issue here for the troops. We'll fast forward to the end here. Good use of this strategy 
at Town Hall 12, guys, and um, look to use it, you know, at these Town Hall levels against against bases that might have those ground expos, um, might have other, you know, good value points. Maybe the Wizard Towers can be tanked easily by Ice Golems. Stuff like that. People aren't expecting this often, so look to use it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.